There we go, get some heifers for the ball, so he can get his hole. From Stornoway <laughs> town, we're in a higher environment, better not break down. We'll stop for a smoke, some coffee and tea. We'll reach in the sneggy, grab a burger with cheese. Well, go and pour yourself a little bit. Oh, it's getting chilly. Welcome back to DrewTube. Oh, weather's really changing. It was a bit frosty this morning. It is autumn, but it feels like winter. I'll need to find my hat. Can't remember where I put it. Somewhere in the tractor somewhere anyway. But uh, I was at Slurry the other day there. Now I'm having to unhitch the tanker and we're heading to get some cattle back from the rented ground uh, and fire them into the bull. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. Come on then, doggy. Come on, good girl. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's uh, getting to that time, so we'll need to put them in with the bull. As you can see here, I put mud guards back on this tractor finally after so many moaning comments on uh, my page <laughs> about them not being there. Whoa! Uh, but uh, they were needing put back on, but they got took off last year for uh, going on the silage pit so they didn't get ripped off, which is fair enough, I thought, and then they <laughs> just never got put back on. Uh, we'll likely not be able to move this yet. <laughs> Wait on the air brakes, then I can move my tanker. <laughs> What's a dilemma? There we go, we're away now. <laughs> At the mercy of the air brakes. My dad's going to put on the old float with the old TM140 and uh, I'm going to put the new float on this and uh, boost down. So we've got the two going. Just means everything gets done quicker, you know. Uh, the two loads done. Uh, we don't need to do another half an hour journey, you know. Well, it's probably an, an hour there and back, so it's better that way. That's quite annoying, that uh, air brake issue we've got on the back of this. It jams in. Sort it one day. But today is not that day. This tractor sensor has been a dick because it's always telling me that there's no pressure in the air brakes. But there it is, it's lying to me. So it flickers on and off, and it's just a general pain in the arse. So. <laughs> Ah, oh, shut up. Right, that's us away. Here we go, get some heifers. 
for the ball so he can get his hole. <laughs> A little brandy, take it to the alley and give it loudly. Go and pour yourself a little brandy, take it to the alley and give it loudly. Go and pour yourself a little brandy, take it to the alley. You're there. I think bringing this dog was a mistake because I can't take her out with me. And she's hyped herself up the whole way over. No, oh, fuck me. Foker, ridiculous. I stop to let the cars pass so I can swing out and then a lorry and a car just over to swing out so I can get in here. What the hell am I meant to do? You indicate stop. Do they not look ahead? Never mind. Never mind. Nearly here. I'm going to go down this stupid, reckless wee road here. But, that is what it is. <laughs> but as I was saying, this dog's hyping herself up to buggery, look at that. This is what she does. Sits in this chair, right on the edge of pouncing, going mental. Hyper focus on that thing's mad. These two fields up the top of either side. Is where they're coming out of, so I'm gonna phone dad, find out whether I have to wait up the top here with a tractor and let them out the gates. You know, how to wait up here. So, you want to bring them up here, or you want to get them out the middle gate, the right hand side? Or try to. Right, right, that's that sorted. Ish. I can tell she's going to be a pain in the hole. No, you're staying here. Watch this, I'll shut the door on her and she'll bark at me. If she doesn't for once. The hype on that thing. Right, these two gates here, so either side of this and uh, take them down to the portable cr crush for loading. Where can I hide this? Gonna have to play it by ear. Well, by sight, as to what gate to shut. At least they're both ready to go.
little brandy, take it to the yardy and give it loudly. Go and pour yourself a little brandy, take it to the yardy and give it loudly. Go and pour yourself a little brandy, take it to the yardy and give it loudly. Don't say, then I want to come home. Go and pour yourself a little brandy, take it to the yardy and give it loudly. Because the weather's fine, like, see if you got them on a wet fishing day, they would be straight out the gate following that pail of cake. Because the gates are in the middle of the field rather than on a corner, it's not that easy to get them out. It's the ideal I've got all of them out at once there, but uh, that wasn't happening. Maggie, shut up. Stop it. Behave yourself. She thinks she rules the roost, don't you? You think you rule the roost. It's a bit warmer now, like jogging around chasing them. I don't know how many times it took to try and get that left hand side out. So we're actually needing to do some separating when we get home with these because some of them are small, some of them are crosses. <laughs> uh, some of them are crosses so uh, they're needing to um, put on the slats to batten up because they're getting to that age. And uh, some of them are uh, smaller so don't really want them to be mounted by the bull. Yeah, that is the story. I'm very thankful nobody's come down the road because there's been a few times that folks see a tractor sitting on the road and then drive right down at it. And then, uh, yeah, it's not good on this road because there is no passing places. You mount up in the curb. The case one time when I was up on the side here and then a lorry come alongside. It was like a Sainsbury's lorry. And then the lean of the Sainsbury's or Tesco or what? I can't remember what. One of the supermarkets. Anyway, the roof ended up touching the side of my trailer because it kept coming at me rather than reversing.
at some point. <laughs> That's them in there now, so uh, just going to the muck. There's 17 left, so I should be able to get it on this big float and then uh, get them home. Uh, but no major family fallouts getting this batch home, thankfully. Getting them in, uh, as a lot of folk will know that work with cattle with their families it can go wrong quite quickly <laughs> um, many a family fallout happens when you're working with cattle but it's been alright the dairyman was down here helping us as well mum's embarrassed because she's seen the camera eventually <laughs> the dairyman saying oh I want money for being in the being in the video and I'm like, no, oh, you get paid anyway. <laughs> so we'll get them home, we'll release them onto the slats. They'll separate them and then get them, get them to the bull and fatten the rest up. This dog's still not calm down, look at him. Right in the edge, boof! Right, we're back down to this last batch. Bye! Bye, come! Should be fine at that, I think. <laughs> Just to separate them there for the boot so he can get his hole. Looks like I'm being left. I don't know for me. <laughs> nah, it's just so he can turn and get back up this shitey wee road. <laughs> That's them all separated. So these are the younger ones in the crosses, and these are the heifers going for the bull. My dad's chasing up, we're putting them up this passage. And then once all the cows are out of the cubicles for the milking, uh, we're going to chase them across to the bull. And then we'll bed up because uh, today is Friday. That's the 
dry cows are going back into their feeding. As you can see, it has been raining. And this old gub to lean to is doing its best to fill my slats up. Alright, here. Come on out. That's the uh, poor X bug spray being sprayed in the cubicles to help with uh, the bugs. So that's uh, helps with my status. Pretty good so far. Very happy with that. Um, I'm just waiting on that getting sprayed, then I'll bed it. Uh, so aye, that's all the heifers moved over for the bull. He's already trying to jump them. I don't think they're bulling, but he's desperate. <laughs> I mean, fair enough, eh? <laughs> yeah, have to do it one hand, eh? Whoop. Sturry Maduri. Let's go to the JK out and found it. Fire on, the wind and the rain has been hell today quite cold, we've had a few, well this morning it was, it, well it was just cold, but yesterday morning we had a good bit of frost so it's just get to that time of year. Few young calves, calving lot, there's one thinking about calving at the moment in here. And here's where heifers, I'll need to come round and feed them. Oh, there's a wee bit I had left from the last lot, and the bulls been munching away at it. It looks like the bulls uh, having a scene too with this one. That's not how you do it, mate. Playing hard to get, it's not going to work in this situation, mate. get these bedded tomorrow because this is just gonna get really shitty now that they're all in there. <laughs> they're back building the shed again today, they've been putting the tin up on the end there but as you can see out there there's the platforms on the cherry pickers but it's uh, they've been struggling out there in the field because it's slightly unlevel and they've been getting stuck because they're not very good to drive around in the kind of wetter bits. They get stuck very easily. If I was driving one, I got stuck just spinning one wheel. <laughs> Terrible things, but aye. They only operate on level ground. It's all safety, which is fair enough. Who wants to get catapulted out of one of these things, like, you know? But I've put up the middle ridging so the Turns out there is a thing on top of that, so that's pretty good, but it's very open. So that'll be incredible for letting the air out. So, we have a very airy shed, which is what we want. That's the closest thing to a uh, free airflow without adding in fans and stuff. So the less things you need to buy to make the sheds work better, the better. But anyway, hopefully you all enjoyed today's video. We'll see you on next time, I suppose. <laughs>